There's not a lot that happens in this passage that you haven't seen happen already in the book of Acts. It is a story that keeps being told over and over again throughout the travels of the apostles throughout various places, uh, preaching in the synagogue, uh, uh, sort of recapitulating the entirety of the faith history of the people of Israel all the way up to Jesus, preaching the good news that they understood coming through the life and work of Jesus. Uh, then when the meeting in the synagogue broke up, the text says, uh, the Jews and, and devout converts to Judaism followed Paul and Barnabas, speaking to them, urging them to continue in the grace of God. And the next Sabbath, almost the whole city gathered to hear the word of the Lord. Uh, it is a testimony to the power of good news spoken clearly uh, and unapologetically. Uh, it is also an interesting uh, passage here. Uh, in verse 41, which is a citation of two Hebrew Bible passages. Uh, Look, you scoffers, be amazed and perish, for in your days I am doing a work, a work that you will never believe, even if someone tells you. Uh, I was really struck by that passage and invited by those words to think about how, uh, how perhaps I am hearing, and perhaps you are hearing, uh, the work of uh, of the divine being spoken about in your midst, being evidenced by things that you are seeing around you, uh, but our inability sometimes to believe, even when someone tells us quite clearly, to be, uh, our inability or our unwillingness to believe that something good is happening in our midst, even in some very difficult times like the ones we are living through here. Also, you know, as we, as we uh, close this passage that you will see happen again and again uh, throughout the book, I was struck by this last, this last verse in the passage, verse 52, where it says, And the disciples were filled with joy and with the Holy Spirit. Just to note how many times throughout the book of Acts, uh, joy and the presence of the Spirit go hand in hand or awe and the presence of the Spirit, or wonder and the presence of the Spirit, continually show up together again and again in the life of the disciples and in the gathering of the community. And I think that is an invitation for us to consider how the cultivation of awe and the cultivation of wonder and the celebration that emerges from our collective gatherings together and the noticing of the Spirit's work in us is uh, is a part of that alchemical recipe that brings about the presence of the Spirit in a palpable way in our midst. The joy and the presence of the Spirit going hand in hand.